I brought some goodies from Superdrug. Let's open them. If I'm buying from Superdrug, I like to go in store. So, ignore the frizzy hair. Mind your own business. I usually like to go in store because I hated looking on Superdrug's website because I feel like their website was not very user friendly. It was always really glitchy. But the other day, I was just like, I wonder what's in Superdrug at the moment. And I feel like they've they've rejigged. It doesn't look exactly the same. They've changed some bits, but it doesn't. I don't know if you know what I mean, but sometimes when I used to use Superdrug, it was really glitchy and it wasn't very user friendly. I've definitely changed it and I liked it. So I placed a Superdrug order because I like online shopping. I'm an online shopper. I don't really like going to stores. <laughs> a little free magazine. Everything I've ordered, I've never tried any of these products before. We've got a little variety. Some Studio London, which is Superdrug's own brand. Because I've heard really good things about Studio London and it's very affordable. That's what majority of this order is. And then a few little, little extra fun bits. So this is the Studio London by Superdrug. Um, Flaunt Flawless Blusher. Cheek and Lip... Cheek... Cheek and lip pigment in the shade Embrace. Oh, that's a gorge colour. From what I remember, I thought it was more pink tone, but that looks more red, which is fine. It feels like a lip balm. Most of my blushes I use are more liquid. I don't think I've actually ever tried like a more balmy cream blush. The Studio London by Superdrug Flaunt Flawless Setting Powder, weightless and mattifying. I haven't heard as much about this, but from their description it it intrigued me i'm planning to do by the way a first impressions with all the products from this super drug haul as well so if uh, you're interested in what these actually look like i will be filming that as well <laughs> okay that was satisfying it was really smooth yeah studio london by super drug flaunt flawless bronzing cream sun drenched sculpt in number four shade number four which is their lightest one so i'm assuming it's going to be like the blush not as balmy it feels more creamy this does but it is very very similar texture to the um the blusher as well usually i use eyeshadow which then obviously irritates my eyes in my waterline it does still work but obviously you then get eyeshadow in your eyeballs the only sort of like coal eye like waterline pencil i have is like a cream kind of color so i wanted some darker ones I was first just looking at this black and then I saw they also did the brown as well. So these are from Collection. This is the Coal Eyeliner, obviously in black. Black number one and brown number two. They are really nice and smooth. I'm excited to use these. If you can't sort of notice, I have dyed my hair black. I've never watched any of my videos before. I was like a, a medium kind of brunette. My eyebrow pencils are in like medium eyebrow shades. Studio London by Superdrug. It's the Boss brow eyebrow pencil fill and defined in the shade black i really like eyebrow pencil slash crayons they are the thing i find the easiest because to be honest doing my eyebrows i just dislike it spoolie brush at the end a black pencil not too um pigmented that's it it's not too pigmented which I also quite like. I can literally just whack it on and not worry about that I've gone too crazy with it. Whereas if I use like pomades, I feel like I sometimes go a bit crazy. So pencils are my best friend. So yeah, I brought this to match my new hair colour. Collection Lip Spa Lip Oil Pink Blush. I think that's the shade. It did say on the front it's got a mint scent. Yeah, it's a lip oil plus argan oil and it's got a mint scent. That's really nice. My final product from this super drug haul, Rila by Makeup Revolution, Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. In the shade, where is the shade name? Oh, it's, it's really literally right there. It's right on the front. <laughs> shade F2. That was my super drug haul. I'm about to go and film my first impression slash review of these products. So if you're interested to watch that, it should be on my page.